We're very fortunate. We've done a lot of work on our employment proposition over the last few years, and we've got really high levels of employee engagement. And engaged employees who understand your strategy, the part that they can play in it, and feel like you support them through their life stages, are simply more inclined to stay with you. And, and were you surprised when, because I, I, mean, I was quite shocked when I looked into this, because you know, I hadn't really been involved in any fertility work in, yeah. the, in the past, um, that there was no legal right to take time off work. And at the moment, undertaking fertility treatment is considered the same as cosmetic surgery. Yeah, and yeah. I just think that's completely wrong. It, it doesn't sound right, no. does it? Uh, and if you're thinking about attracting and retaining people through all stages of their lives, what could be more important or challenging than, than this one? And I think it's the, the it, so yes, I was really, really shocked and, and surprised. Uh, and some of the things that kind of help you to move forward, because I think it's, in, it's sort of important, isn't it, to think about, well, what, you know, what can organisations do? Why would you go on a journey of, of things like this and and we worked out that things like having a great approach to fertility fertility support are just the right things to do mm. is it a human centered kind response to challenges that your people may may face yes it is do you have to do everything all at once and i talk about this um, a lot when when we think about employee benefits in its widest sense and you i think nikki you said Sometimes it's easier for big firms than small, and I completely get and agree with that. But you don't have to do everything. Starting somewhere, yeah. maybe, a, maybe a simple underpin policy about what your organisation can do and afford, and talking to your people is really important.